In terms of a lead candidate in the NCE space, which is 17822, which is in the CTP indicator, that is also slated to enter into phase two studies very shortly. Maybe in a couple of months, it should uh, get into that. In terms of biologics, uh, we had recently launched uh, the two biosimilars uh, for the last year, and also the partnering which has happened in the emerging markets for several countries, about 21 uh, pending approvals are now uh, there. So once these get approved and launched in the market, they will start clocking uh, sales for the biologics part of the business. Totally, there's seven more products besides what has already been launched, seven more products out of which uh, three are in the preclinical testing phase. This is our biosimilars uh, portfolio. Before I sum it up, the recognitions, uh, we have received several of, the, of them during the year. Uh, the most recent being that uh, in terms of uh, being named the best company to work for in the biotech industry, we feature right there. But even in terms of the, uh, all the companies in the top 25 companies, which are the best places to work for, we rank number 13. And in the pharma industry, we rank, uh, we are the only people to have been ranked in this. Other ones, you're quite familiar with it. We were ranked in the Forbes, uh, the Scrip aw awarded us for the best company in the emerging markets. Also, uh, we got the Excellence Award for Corporate Governance. So just to sum it up, as far as the outlook is concerned uh, for the year, it's a very positive outlook. Again, uh, we won't be giving any guidance on any of the parameters because I think we are already indicated saying that uh, because of the variability that you see in terms of our approvals, uh, because of the regulatory process, also because of the outcome of uh, some of the litigations, that's one of the reasons why we have started stopped giving any guidance, if you remember from the past. Right, so since we won't be talking numbers, but in terms of a scale up on the sales itself, that will be quite significant for us uh, for the financial year 12. It will largely be led by what happens in North America because of the launches that I just talked about. It will also happen because of the growth in the emerging markets, again largely India as well as Russia. These two will be the very strong drivers of growth. Also on the API business, it's, it's been uh, uh, somewhat modest growth what you had seen last year, but looking at the order books, looking at the new product launches and the scale up, that also will you know, contribute uh, to the growth.